video how to analyze the effects uh, data using Flojo tool. I'll create a new workspace. And then I'll drag the sample which I would like to analyze. So for example this two. And uh, I will now clean up my data. So firstly, so see the side scattering area versus to the forward scattering area. And there, it is easily seen two populations are there, but you have to select one population, like uh, another. If you just try different cells together, then this kinds of images you'll get. So for cleaning up, the first one definitely for my case is the not the real cells these are the digestive one and these are the real cells um, from this experiment definitely we'll have to clean up using any of the tools here but i'll just use this one because it's easy to get these um, This is the first stage of cleaning up. I'll select as a P1, population one. Maybe you can change uh, the places as well, what you would like to see. Okay. Double clicking will create a clean page. Then I'll use the four scattering height versus area, and then I'll select the I'll select the single cell here. So I'll use this one again. Yes, correct. Single cells uh, should be all right. Double clicking and then I'll use another level of um, cleaning up so here you see two types of but probably it should be the one this one we're looking for similar way we'll go Probably should be single cells too. So for the cleaning up, I'll just add just um, okay. All right. This is the single cell we found here. Basically, now what to do? We need to. make this to all okay. so that's not the right way to do need to go back and then select select all the things here let's try get all samples that should be okay now going to the p2 i'll check how it looks like uh, things 
so let's do a good so we'll lower range a little bit more okay and then going down there so let's do a good as well it's the single cell so it was the single cells too so let's do it good as well yeah okay so good all well, the things i'm looking for is cleaned up properly now i will introduce the analysis here so we'll open this part and then check the histogram as well hmm. and opening this part too i will check the histogram but i'll select the antibody i'm looking for this one same to this oh it's definitely very high it should be because it's negative one so i will be create a layout and then use Sorry, it's not uh, from here. That's the part one and that's the part two. So two, I have little some options here, like properties and different options you can see here. So you can select a lot of things. Y axis should be model. All the things are all good and um, it should be still drama okay. can so you see there is a definitely difference between two samples I will also use the okay just to to go up and then just to grow and then stagger offset <coughs> excuse me so here you can see one thing you can change it and see how it looks like it's uh, clearly a different thing you can see here checking the x-axis okay so that's the data representation in one sense in other sense is that uh, you can you can use the calculation how you can use the calculation so you'll have to go here again and then you have to so maybe okay just go to options and then not histogram it should be set a color all right so now you have two samples here it's two different so this is the negative control here so you will select the whole range here or up to what you want to and name this as a antibody positive sense that you're looking for which antibody you're looking to type here that's all and then shape these so uh, it could be something like that so all these are negative maybe a bit uh, more finishing it oh, maybe a bit. okay so that's the thing and if you see here a lot of things are positive here okay so what I have to do now we will use um, use some statistics add statistics and then what sort of statistics you need like you need the count if you want you can add if you need the frequency of um, frequency of the single cells too then the ultimate cells you want and you want to add the mean fluorescent intensity of uh, 
this one. Then to what you were looking for. Okay. This the information is actually we use basically. And then what I have to do, we have to copy this for the all samples here. Okay. This is This is not the thing I'm looking for. Uh, just go back. It's not happening. Selecting all the things. The group okay, so now it happens. Um, so we got the information here just to see this how the variation is 44.8 percent cells are positive for this receptor for this antibody, and here it's only 0 0.082 that's the negative control should contain. So that's all, and then we can we can uh, use the Excel file to. To generate our data like this table and then um, okay yeah so you have to pull it from here okay so it should be all cells and samples and if we create a table so all informations are there all right these two samples you have an um, information you're looking for if you go to export to the excel file where you want to create index stuff if you want this one good okay so it's created. Let me find out where it is saved. Yep. It is here. If you open the file and then definitely see the results here properly. Right, so Increase so there's the file you want to try to expand this. Okay, well, this is the samples you don't need it. You can delete these two files, and um, these are the so you can just change by to the cells here. That's the count. So you can just denote count as a hash key. These are the percentage. Percentage of the frequency of um, okay, and this is the mean fluorescent intensity. This two we need to just make it um, something. I don't want the percentage here. Okay, 
so that's also to check this the negative control has only 47 cells positive for this receptors and 25,000 the frequency is 0.08 percent of these receptors to be positive and here it is 44 percent and the mean fluorescent intensity of 8846 and this is 5972 so that's the that's the calculations you want to get and then just present your studies together and another information see if you want to the if you want to share the uh, case of this analysis then you may share every single steps in a separate file like um, as I created one L file here the layout so here you can just show step by step like this one if you just copy this and then past here so what the information you will see like um, you can use the bar, bar diagram or if you just go to properties and then check different diagonal like the contour plot so it should be a different one so you can analyze this the red one is the negative one and the whole positive samples are there and uh, there are other options as well if you want to see in dot plot it's also a good thing so you can share that's the red one is the negative control and that's all the positive cells are there yep that's all that's all to share and if you want to share the pathway as well like um, if you just uh, can directly drag this to this uh, folder to share the pathway is something like how it did this like um, like this one if you show that uh, how the process how the analysis was performed like um, these things you can edit or something from here as well and then done every the p1 the steps here for the cleanup it did and how you selected your samples and then just make it a bit smaller and then you create another single cells just make it a bit smaller show the line and then he created a single cells to how you selected your positive control and negative control All right so these things are done and then you create these ones so how many cells should be there and then you can just show this in the positive control one because otherwise they'll not find any other things so you can just compare this this to the negative control that's the that's the samples you checked so that's all about um about analysis of the fact samples so you can also save this uh, on a date basis like i would just like to save there so I'll close it everything will be saved as you did or it will be also saved on the original file so I'll save just click set should be all right should be saved in the same file yep great that's all about um today thank you so much for showing um saying this